Hello, and welcome to the Big One class. The decentralized finance ecosystem is distinguished by its composability. This refers to how developers build new financial applications using existing DeFi protocols. These DeFi protocols can be combined in a variety of ways. Among the many DeFi protocols, the Compound protocol is one of a kind. Let's talk about what the Compound protocol is in this video. What is the Compound protocol? This DeFi protocol is open source and free to use as a reliable financial infrastructure. On this basis, developers can quickly and cheaply create their own applications and platforms. These protocols can be chosen and assembled in any order. This enables the use of smaller, simpler elements to construct larger, more complex financial structures. Compound Labs created and launched the Compound DeFi protocol in the early days of DeFi. It allows users to earn interest on their digital assets without having to rely on a third party. Anyone with an Ethereum wallet can provide assets and use them as collateral under the terms of the agreement. Borrow other assets at an interest rate determined by a market supply and a demand algorithm. If there is a greater demand for borrowing specific assets, interest rates will rise, stimulating more supply. If demand falls, interest rates will fall, encouraging more borrowing, how to use the Compound Protocol Providing digital assets to the Compound Protocol is like putting money in a savings account. But your funds will not be kept by a third party. They are kept in a decentralized protocol based on the blockchain and are always completely under your control. When you provide assets to the agreement, it will automatically send you tokens in exchange. Each asset has a distinct token. Your token will earn interest over time based on the crypto interest rate paid by the borrower in the agreement. As interest rates rise, so will the exchange rate between your token and related assets. As a result, the same amount of token you initially received will be worth more than the number of assets you initially provided. If you want to borrow assets under the agreement, you must first provide the assets as collateral. And then you can borrow other assets up to the amount of your mortgaged assets. If market conditions change, the amount you borrow will exceed the amount you own in mortgage assets. Your position may then be liquidated. Liquidation occurs when a third party repays a portion of your borrowed assets in exchange for a portion of your collateral. The over-collateralization and liquidation mechanisms will work together to keep the agreement solvent. The Compound Protocol is used in this case. The Big One class for today is over. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.